video on Tracy Faulkner from Lush Fabrics with your release for this week, the 21st of April. Again, I have four new fabrics for you and two new Sunday, Lush Sunday Rewind fabrics to show you. I also have some new sewing essentials um, for you to look at this week as well. Okay, so the first fabric I need to show you is what I am wearing. This is brushed ribbed sweater knit. The color is marshmallow. I hope that doesn't make you too hungry. It's this really so, so soft ribbed. It's brushed on the outside, so it feels absolutely amazing. You can see it is super, super drapey in this sleeve. Um, this pattern is the billow sleeve jumper from Swim Style patterns. I've just recently discovered Swim Style and they've got quite a few things on there I like. So there might be some more coming, but it's just a cute little crop jumper. I did the high neck. It sits really beautifully. And you can see I'm just wearing a tank top underneath this one. If I had a skin toned bra, that would be better, but I could only find a white one this morning. So um, I've just put a little tank top on underneath as well. In winter, I tend to get pretty cold, so I would probably wear a higher necked white top underneath this, and then it would be quite seamless. Um, but because there's the gap between the top and my skin underneath, you can see that line there today. Um, so definitely not how I would do it in winter, but it is still really warm here in the West, and I just can't do it, I can't do long sleeves. It's just too much. One layer of long sleeves is enough, two, it's my limit. But look, this is really sweet with all the gathering here. Um, because it's a very drapey, stretchy fabric, this has gone down um, a little bit further than I think it's intended to, um, but I don't mind that slouchy fit to it anyway. Okay, so this fabric is 76% rayon. So that's where all this stretch is coming from. 21% uh, polyester, 3% spandex. It's only 180 GSM. Um, with the brushing, it is lovely and cozy. All right, stretch for days on this one. So that's your horizontal and it's got the vertical as well. And as you can see, beautiful drape. Okay, uh, so obviously no coordinating fabrics with this one because it's a solid color, but I do have a couple of threads for you. So from the Rasant range, it's 1000, and from the Maraflex range, it is triple one. So Rasant is just your standard thread, Maraflex is the stretch thread, so you can sew these knit fabrics in your sewing machine. Okay, Marshmallow Brushed Ribbed Sweater Knit. Now, I have another Swiss dot color for you. Let me show you this beautiful texture. Isn't it gorgeous? So plain old color, but look at that gorgeous dot texture on there. So this one's called Light Pink. So the Swiss dots is 76% poly, 23% rayon, 200 GSM, um, but it is a thinner fabric than this one here. This being a sweater knit, has more bulk to it than this one does. So it's got some stretch, not huge amounts. A little bit of give going on vertically there. And there is your drape. So I've just got threads to show you on this one. So 5096, that's looking very light on the screen. It is a smidge lighter in person, but not as light as it's looking. Um, or from the Mariflex range, 660. Okay, so light pink Swiss dots. Now, I also have a new color in the thermal range for you, and it's super, super pretty. This is called Soft Lilac. Let me show you the texture of this one too before I... There we go. You can see that it's like a mini waffle texture to it. Okay, it's a really, really pretty color. So this one is 94% poly, 6% spandex. It's great for layering. Um, it can also be your outer garment as well. It doesn't have to be hidden underneath. I really love the texture of it. I think it's really pretty. Um, for me here, 
I think my ideal garment out of this is just a long sleeve t-shirt that I can wear underneath a cardigan, you know, with jeans and underneath a cardigan. Um, I do a lot of long sleeve t-shirts in winter to keep me warm. All right, again, really lovely and stretchy both ways. So there's lots of options of what you can do with this one. And there's that beautiful drape. So to match this one is 3040 from the Rasant range and from the Mariflex range, 158. All of these will be linked on the website as well. So you'll be able to find all of those details later. All right, now we have one print for you today and it's called Samba. It's a Liverpool. I know you guys love your Liverpools. Uh, let me turn it this way with the neatly cut edge. Let me show you. Isn't that pretty? Look at those gorgeous colors. So rich black background and then all these pretty purples and pinks and ivories in there. It's just gorgeous. I love the colors. Okay, so Liverpool, it's usually 97 poly, 3% spandex. It has this, can you see in that white section just here, I think you can see that crepey texture. It's a bit hard to see on the black, isn't it? So it's got the crepe texture on the right side and then it's smooth on the wrong side. Um, generally just has good horizontal stretch, Liverpool, um, not as much going on vertically. So do keep that in mind depending on the pattern that you're planning on sewing up. If it does require vertical stretch, um, you might need to make some adjustments to make that one work. But Liverpool is beautiful as a dress, a top, a jacket, pants if the pattern allows for the stretch. There's so much you can do for it. And it's got just a little bit of thickness to it. So it's very forgiving. It's great to sew. Very important that it's great to sew. So I think I showed you the stretch, didn't I? And that beautiful drape. So we've just put this one with thread 4000 from the Rasant range. And we have paired it with blush faux cashmere that's really pretty with those pink lines that are going through there and dusty purple double brush poly and heathered gray faux cashmere because it does have a bit of gray going on as well we're all about the faux cashmere today so that's just gray Oh, cashmere this one is heathered gray and then lastly raspberry pink and I think it looks really really nice as well with the soft lilac thermal it's not quite the same purple I think it looks really pretty together and I do think that you could wear them together. And the other option is the light pink Swiss dot. Looks really pretty with it as well. So that might just help to make some coordinating outfits for you. So Samba Liverpool. It's really pretty. Okay, let's look at some of our Lush Sunday Rewinds. Let's go to this guy over here. This is Captain Faux Alpaca. Just move a bit forward. I have made both Molly and Polly a little bit taller today. Uh, they're still just as wobbly, unfortunately. Okay, so Faux Alpaca, let me show you here. It's 69% Polly, 24% Rayon, 3% Spandex. It's about 200 GSM, I think. I didn't write that bit down. It is really gorgeous, soft, fluffy fabric. So can you see that? It's almost like fleecy. It feels beautiful. And then it is unbrushed on the wrong side. 
So it has amazing stretch both ways and really nice drape. Okay, so this guy, we have, we've already matched him with 191. I don't know why I'm calling him him, but anyway. Uh, and Maraflex we've added on, so 38 works well with the Maraflex. So really, we've just got a few greys to go with this one, right? Um, so we already had Silver Fox cotton spandex as one of our coordinates for this one, which looks really nice. Really cute. So they're really nice together. But I have found a few others for you. Um, this one here is the Silver Brushed French Terry. This will make for a gorgeous, warm, snuggly outfit if you were to sew something using both of these. But they look really nice together. It actually looks really cute with that showing on the outside, doesn't it? Makes it look a bit fluffy. But that's the colour there. So they look really cute together. So that's the Silver Brushed French Terry. Or if you need something a little bit lighter, not quite so warm, um, this grey tri-blend is really lovely and light and also looks really nice with the, don't let me tell you what this one's called, Captain, it's called Captain, faux alpaca, sorry. Uh, now we also have, this one's come up again today, this is the grey faux cashmere. Again, another really gorgeous, soft, fluffy fabric. It feels amazing to the touch. And again, looks really nice with that print. And we've also used the heathered gray for cashmere. So if you prefer the lighter shades, and this one works really well too. Bring out those lighter colours in there. Now, obviously, being so many shades of grey, you could basically put any other colour that you like with this. And I could be here forever if I was showing you all of them. So I'm just showing you the greys that I think coordinate with it. Um, but the options are almost endless, um, given that it's grey. So much goes with grey. Oops, that's the wrong way. This one is brushed the grey brushed waffle. So again, really lovely and soft and warm, this one, and looks so great together. So this is Captain Faux Alpaca, and there are a heap of new coordinates there um, that can coordinate with this one. So this being one of our Lush Sunday Rewind fabrics is gonna be a little bit cheaper for you today only, um, which is the purpose. So we just like to remind you um, that some of these fabrics do exist. You know, we've still got them. They um, released a little while ago. So this is just our little reminder to say, hey, don't forget about this one. And it's available a little bit cheaper. This one is called Animal Print in Pink. It is a double brush poly. It's a really gorgeous print. I love the pink. I think it's a really sweet colored pink. And the actual animal spot on there is like a olivey khaki brownie it's actually really nice it's not showing the color that's showing the color a little bit better there it's really um when i come back a little bit more it's actually quite a soft color i know it looks like it's jumping out of the print a little bit here but it is actually quite soft um, and it brings a beautiful warm tone to this print to this fabric Okay, so double brush poly, it's got that really great stretch both ways. You could do just about anything with this fabric. It's got this gorgeous drape. And we have the same threads as we did for the light pink Swiss dot. So 5096 for Rassant and 660 for Mariflex. Okay, so I have all new coordinates for you for this one because what we did have is no longer 
available. So this here is the light pink rib knit. There we go. And that looks really, really pretty together with that one. So this is really nice. I mean, the first thing that jumps to mind here for me is like a little singlet in this and some foxies in this. Um, and then you can either lounge around the house in that, sleep in that, or go and do your shopping in that. Um, chuck a cardi on over the top and you're set if it's a bit cool. But plenty of options. That's just the first thing that jumped into my mind for this combination of fabrics. Um, another one that looks really nice is this blush brushed waffle. This is just, honestly, look at that fluffy goodness there. It's just so beautiful and soft, this fabric. Uh, so really, really gorgeous to wear. Easy to sew, which is great. There we go. They look really pretty together as well. I've only got pinks to show you, unfortunately. I could not find a good match for this color in our range. All right, and then another one that I have found for you is this light rose cable knit sweater. Oh, it's got a big hole in it. Let's see, here we go. I've got that on the wrong way, but isn't that so pretty? I think this might be my favorite. It's just so pretty together. And this cable knit sweater, I think, lifts it a little bit with the texture that's on there. Um, you know, this, I, I, can, I can feel like a, a fitted dress out of this and then a, a nice cardi out of this one or pants and then a jumper. So much that you can do. Anyway, they look gorgeous together. And then another one that you could put in there is what we released today. And again, that's our light pink Swiss dot. Looks really nice there as well. All right, so those are our Sunday rewinds for today. Sorry, let's straighten you up a little bit. Straighten me up a little bit. There we go, that will do. Okay, so they are all of our fabrics. I am so wonky. There we go. Uh, now I want to show you some of the new um, sewing essentials that we have coming up today. Let me just do a little rearrange here. I think some of them you're gonna love. Possibly the first one. I'm pretty excited about this one. So we have a range of things in from Kylie and the Machine. So they do labels, but they have also started to do this fabric ID tape. Sorry, this one just wants to focus on my face. There we go, I'll go up on tiptoes. This fabric ID tape. So we have been using it quite a bit here in the warehouse uh, and it's fantastic. So I've actually got some here so I can show you what it looks like. It's just masking tape. Um, and you just, so you can either write on it on the roll or you can just rip it off. I usually cut it, but I don't have scissors in here. And then you can just put all of your details in there. All right, so you can, you know, your fabric base information, how much fabric you have, where it was bought from. Obviously we'd love to see that being lush, but it doesn't have to be, it can be anywhere. You can make note of whether you've washed it or not. Maybe write down what you plan to sew with it, or maybe I give you some tips in these videos and you can write that down on there. Whatever you like. The world is your oyster when it comes to that. But this is really, really handy. So we tend to just put it in one of the top corners of the fabric, or you can just kind of attach it on the edge of the fabric and then fold it over like that. It's really, really great stuff definitely help you to keep track of what you've got. All right, so that's the Fabric ID Tape, which is now up on the website. And also from Kylie and the Machine, we have a few labels. We've never stocked labels before, but um, I thought we'd give them a go. So the first label just says, Hello Gorgeous. And then we have the Circa 2024 in black and white. Each of these, I believe, have 10 labels in there. I'll put that information on the website properly anyway, so you can see. 
this is the back always handy oops sorry I'm trying to get that to focus on there for you uh, and then last one me made so they're super cute uh, they will be available as well on the website. I'm going to put all of these new sewing essentials. They, they belong under the sewing essential tab on our website, but I will also put them under new arrivals just for this week too, so you can find them. Uh, okay, I also have these vanishing marking pens. I haven't had the opportunity to try these out yet. Um, and with any sort of fabric marking, you should always test it on a scrap piece first to make sure it is going to turn out how you think it's going to and it is going to come off how you want it to but it's always good to have a few options for marking your fabric i think so vanishing marking pens another um pin cushion which i love because it is so big i just tend to have so many pins stuck in that i've got no more space to put more pins in so i quite love the the bigger pin cushion we have some hook and eye, uh, hook and loop sew in. So that's like Velcro um, and you just sew that one in, um, not stick it in. So that's really handy for some sewing. We have some, uh, where's the other one like this one? There we go. Some little strap retainers that you can sew into your garments. So if you have bra straps, sinking down or some of the straps are sinking or the shoulder wants to fall off and you don't want it to, you can attach your, put this around your bra strap so that it stays still. I know I've got at least one top that I need to sew these into. Uh, okay, an automatic needle threader. I'm all about needle threaders these days because my vision is just getting worse and worse. So anything that can help me thread these needles, I'm down for. So this is just, you can stick your hand sewing needles in there. There we go, let's get my face out of the way. Uh, we also have some very pretty metallic threads. So silver and gold there. So they might just work out for some of your projects. We have some braided elastic. I might not have it all, here we go. So in the six mil wide, I have both black and white. This stuff's really great for, um, like I had to sew some ruching in a sleeve for something, and it's really handy for that sort of thing. Um, any thin elastic that's required. We also have this 12 mil elastic, which is really handy stuff. Another version of a needle threader also happens to be a really cute little bird and they come in blue pink and green uh, and last one this one's actually not overly exciting we have had this before it's just in a different color now this is just a point turner and it's got the button shank on there as well which is really handy all right so those are all of our sewing essentials as well as our fabrics i hope there's something in here that you have been looking for you have been wanting Please uh, enter our competitions on Facebook and YouTube. We have two Lush Fabric gift cards to give away, worth $25 each. Uh, so just comment on either of those. Um, everything is now available on our website. Hope there's something you want. If not, I'll be back next week with some more. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.